I'm showing you the controls of the Volvo A25G and here we go. All this stuff right here is gonna be the ones that you mainly use. Your gear shifter, controls for your bed, you pull towards you to make the bed go up, so dump your load. And then whenever you want the bed to go down, you just push forward. Some of them, the older um, ones, it'll make you uh, hold it down. So you'll actually have to push down, hold it like this, push down on the um, lever and then push forward and I'll hold it down. This one, it once you push it forward, it locks into place. This is your parking brake. So you just press the right button, pull, push it that way. And then it disengages. And then if you want to park the truck, you just press the button down. Right here is your load brake. So, for instance, if you're in neutral, you have you press this button, you can get loaded, and then push it forward in the driver reverse, and you'll kick out of gear, and then you'll start going in that direction. This is automatic six-wheel drive. If I turn it off, then it won't automatically turn on six-wheel drive. This is like your retarder. Um, like automatic retarder pedal pretty much it does it automatically it slows your uh, truck down a little bit as you're going down a hill here's your ignition your 24 volt um little charger port this is your emergency lights you just press that and then it'll turn on press it like that turn it off your ashtray heated seats which it only heats up the front seat and then this is your stop button so whenever you go turn off the truck, it'll say nine minutes or 10 minutes. Pretty much that just lets the truck and the turbo and all that turn, uh, cool down. Emergency shut off switch. You turn that on, if you push it in, it'll turn off everything in your truck. If you wanna disengage it, you just twist it. The main buttons that I use on here is this button. So this one right here number six so i can get my hours on the truck to tell the fuel man and then it tells you other information but you don't really need to know that and then set up if you want to set up your time and then i use this which is your load counter it tells you how long you've had your truck on how many loads you've had how much gallons you've consumed and your miles that you've driven and then I press escape to escape it. The rest of the buttons I don't really use because there's no reason to really use it. This is your dashboard, tells you everything, all your levels. So this is your fuel, that's your def, and then you know your tachometer, which is pretty much your <clears throat> RPMs, miles per hour. Over here, climate control, all this. These are your lights. Your main front lights. And then these are your front lights and your side lights. This is that top light that kind of goes around a circle and blinks. This is just to turn up and down your dashboard lights. Right here is your horn. Press that in to honk your horn. This right here is another button to turn on your windshield wipers with the fluid to come out so you can clean your windshield. Hold that in and then it'll start. In order to engage your windshield wipers, you push the, rotate the gear shifter that way. So towards the windshield, or the windshield. And then if you wanna turn it off, turn it towards you. This is your you know, telescoping for your wheel up or down here's your pedal gas pedal right here brake the tartar pedal and then that button is to make your seat go up and down so you push to make it go up you pull it out to make it go down and then these just help your seat make it go up and down too so that's really about it i mean yeah there's your backup camera and your 
uh, if you got a backup camera and then your freaking mirrors, those are self-explanatory. There's your radio if you even have one. Really, that's about it. I mean, it's pretty easy to run this thing. The only thing that gets me is just backing up when you first begin. Other than that, you'll get the hang of it pretty fast.